In today's video, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to customize the account balances that you can see on your home screen. So what we're looking at here is the typical home screen for QuickBooks 2012 and, and earlier. Um, it can also be modified in 13 and 14 to look this way. We're running QuickBooks 14 today. But off here to the right hand side you can see there's these account balances that show you bank accounts, accounts receivable, and accounts payable. Now, a lot of people have wanted to modify these account balances for a couple of different reasons. One, it might be that you'd like to see other accounts on there that's not there. So right now all we're getting is bank accounts, accounts receivable, and accounts payable. But what if you want to know what your fixed assets look at like? Or what if you, you know, there's, there's several different things that you might want to see that you're not getting here. Also, you might, you know, I've had several clients that have a front desk person that enters in bank transactions. And so as soon as you're given rights to any bank accounts, um, all of these balances show up in your uh, right-hand dashboard. And they were concerned that people walking by the front desk, um, prying eyes, would see what those balances were, and uh, they didn't want that. So they wanted to be able to hide what those balances were um, from the, the main home screen. And that's something that previously wasn't available to us. Another reason that people might want to hide these balances is to prevent people that don't have rights to those balances from seeing them. So the way that QuickBooks of Security works, if you're granted access to one bank account, then you get to see the balances for all of them. It's kind of an all or none thing. And so, you know, I might give you access to the payroll account, but I don't want you to know what's in my savings or my main checking account. I just want you to know what's in that payroll clearing account. You know, things like that. And so, um, that's another reason why people have wanted to restrict the balances. So I'm going to show you how in QuickBooks 2014 you can modify those balances that you can see, and then we're going to talk about some of the restrictions to that. So, um, if you're on this old home screen, you're going to just see what QuickBooks has defaulted like they have in the past. But if we come and change it so that we're looking at the left icon bar, which was available in 13 and 14, I can come down to View Balances, and now there's this Customize View Balance option. So I can come in here and see all of the accounts that are available. And you can see, right now I've got my bank accounts, my credit card accounts, and accounts receivable and accounts payable, just like in the 2012 version. But now I can come and click on this, and I can see fixed assets balances, other assets. I can see my equity balances if I want to. Um, I can even see cost of goods sold or income. I can really make it a dashboard for whatever it is that I'm interested in seeing. So let's go ahead and oops, not cost of goods sold. Let's go ahead and enter my income in there just because I like to see what I'm. Oops. Yeah, sure. Why not? I want to see what my pool cover and equipment sales look like and keep track of that on my dashboard. So now I've got other things that I can put on there that I couldn't put in there in the past. In addition to that, if there are certain accounts that I don't want to see, like maybe I don't care about my savings account um, or my accounts of payable account, I can remove those from my screen and I don't have to see those anymore. So that's another modification that we can do. So this works really great if you've got prying eyes or just concerned about the exposure of the screen um, in a front desk like environment, I can hide um, a lot of these accounts from there so that I only see the ones that are important to me. And then people walking by won't be able to see any of my other accounts. Also, they can easily be hidden by just changing the tab that you're on. Now, the other issue that we talked about was restricting people who aren't allowed to see them. So let's say that I have someone that handles my accounts payable. So I want them to see um, my checking account, my petty cash account, and my accounts payable account, and nothing else. So we'll just kind of set these up really quick. So there we are. That's all I want them to see. If you've noticed, this is a setting that's modifiable by the user, not the security rights. So, any employee with a little bit of smarts can know to come down here, and even though you've restricted them to only see these items, 
they can still come down here all by themselves and add other bank accounts that, they, that you didn't want them to see and be able to see those easily. Now, with their security rights, if you haven't granted them access to these accounts, they still can't write transactions in them, but you can't restrict with security rights what they can see in the, in the view balances window. Also, even though these are the only ones I've restricted, if I come back to my right icon bar, or uh, my right dashboard, I get all of the same accounts I had before. So any of the modifications you make on the left bar do not reflect in the right bar. And so again, for security reasons, if you're trying to lock it down, this really isn't a great solution. But if you're just trying to kind of hide things from overlooking eyes in a very open environment, or if you're wanting to modify it so that you can see balances that you normally wouldn't have access to in a quick dashboard environment, then uh, these modifications work great.